Breaking traffic, that's all I need, breaking traffic. Come on, come on people, breaking traffic, come on. Hey guys, so today I'm doing something a bit different. I'm outside Dive World Canada. <laughs> Just kidding. So because we enjoyed A to 2 so much, today we're gonna be doing A to 3. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun here in the A to 3. Everyone has their areas to work on, like we were just mentioning. Raj knows what his is. Sam, you probably know what yours is. Legend himself, Andrew. Anyways, Ada 3, did people read the manual or at least glance at it? Like a lot of it's biology related stuff. For Lily is an Ada 4. So Ada 4 is also an assistant instructor level. And the absolute legend, Lily's back. Now we're changing our registration from A to 2 to A to 3. Some of this might be a little bit of a review. Ada, that's going to be a word that you see over and over. It's just French, l'Association Internationale pour le Development de l'Apnée. A big emphasis is going to be on fine tuning your own technique and like learning how to correct little things yourself, right? Like A to 2, I'll tell you, you know, your finning is garbage, Sam. Burn. We'll focus on your weaknesses. I know it's not gonna be fun maybe, like you wanna do your strengths, but let's work on your weaknesses. Cause that's important too. But we'll talk more about this later. I keep on going on tangents, but this is good. Like don't think that we're wasting time right now. Like if you have questions, ask them because I'd much rather help you guys with the questions that are on your mind and then get through the theory than focus on da -da 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 -da. hyperventilation, equalization, friends. Will... Let's, let's this class has taken a very a weird turn. One step further because it could be that would be, that would be more Valsalva because you're you're adding. Mm -hmm. We're doing okay. this way. Lungs now, vital volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, vital capacity. Now we're in a math lesson. Long barrel trauma, blood shift response. Archimedes principle blackouts. So in the pool today, our performance requirements in the ADA 3 want to do a 55 meter dynamic, and then the static also, it's 245. I did 62.5 meters. I did three minutes comfortably. <laughs> To the pools. Yeah. Uh, those classes were kind of cool. Like the A to two classes is all just, this is the information, learn it. But not because everyone's had a little bit more experience. We kind of went off on tangents and stuff where we were more discussing how to improve our own techniques and things. So it was a lot more interactive. Back to the pools again. We're doing static and dynamic basically the same as the A to two, only more. <laughs> more time in the static and more distance in the right. dynamic. Right. Okay, so first up is static. And if you watched the previous video, you'll know that static is just holding your breath face down in the water. Right now I'm just doing a quick breathe up and then, yeah, there you go. Face down in the water, hold your breath as long as you can. Spin up. Oh, 3.45. Well, that was disappointing. Yeah, so right now I'm just trying to massage the vagus nerve, which is one of the cranial nerves which controls your heart rate. I learned about that when I did my anatomy degree. Anyway, spin off. That's 3.45, good signal. Okay, Sam, just keep that air in, even if you feel like you have to sneeze or anything. We're almost at four minutes. Okay, Sam, we're at 4.30. Okay, Sam, let's come on up. Let's come on up. Breathe, breathe. Yeah, good. that was right to your, right to your yeah. limit. Perfect. <laughs> what was it? 4.30 on the dot, like 4.30. <laughs> yeah. New record, yeah. yeah. So, now for dynamic. What you do is you swim up and down the length of the pool, holding your breath for as long as you can, and see what distance you can get to. And the pool. <laughs>
Okay, so static done, dynamic done. And now we're just gonna run over the rescue stuff. Then we did the rescue techniques again, which is the same as you want for A to two. Because I guess they're just going over them to make sure we knew them. And how the player on time. Okay, so grand total of 75 meters. That's an improvement on the 62. Four and a half minutes. That's an improvement on my three minutes and 20 seconds last time I was here. And it's an improvement on my four minutes and three seconds that I did at home on the couch. So tomorrow it's gonna be tables. That's the only thing really new. But classrooms, bright and early tomorrow, 11 o'clock, back at Dive World. What's going on? Dude, you're not in this one. <laughs> oh yeah. He's not in this Unfortunately. one. Unfortunately. Lovely weather we are having. <laughs> late, hate being late. Okay, we're going through all of the dives from yesterday and analyzing our performance to see what we need to improve. That you've done to correct your, your technique in static too, like your static technique. Nice. Good pace, streamline. Yeah, your knees aren't bending like they were a month ago. It's perfect, like, it's it's just his knees are flowing with his fins. <laughs> Shucks, folks, I'm speechless. <laughs> you look like you're tensing a bit in your shoulders from discomfort, but... And you can see he's starting to get tired because he's starting to bend more. <laughs> oh, was that, was that a big yeah. contraction? Bubbles again, like I just saw a bunch of bubbles there. Cerebral hypoxia, analyzing. Like Dalton's law, compression sickness, the mammalian dive response. Training tables, CO2 table and an O2 table. All done, so everyone passed. To the pool! Exams are all finished. Now we're going to the pools again for, I guess, the last bit. All we really have to do now is just the tables and I guess open water is complete because we've all passed our exam. Tables it shall be. We'll do 25 meters and then a one minute breathe up. And then 25 meters, 55 seconds, 25 meters, 50 seconds, and so on. So drop it by five seconds each time. Okay, so starting with CO2 tables. That's gonna be fun. So right now what we're doing are tables. So the CO2 table trains you to have higher tolerance level to carbon dioxide in your system. Whereas an O2 table trains you how to deal with having lower and lower oxygen in your system. Right now I'm doing a CO2 table, which is training my body to withstand higher and higher concentrations of carbon dioxide, which is the thing that gives you that urge to breathe, that sort of burning pain that you get. Which is why I prefer oxygen tables, because when you do an oxygen table, you just get kind of like dizzy and lightheaded. Both of these two tables are very, very important training methods and tools for being able to withstand longer amounts of time underwater. Yes, I realize that, but where you're standing right now is where the water is supposed to be, so you can't be standing there. I just did my second table. It was a lot harder, but I didn't record it because the camera died on me. And that's an annoying CO2 table. Oh my god, he's doing five minutes. He's like, oh, he's out of five minutes. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Five minutes, world record, Ooh. nicely done. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this one, here we go.
Uh, See you next weekend, weekend, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. That's the end of A to 3 pool and classroom sessions. I liked it way more than I liked A to 2 because A to 2 was like they're teaching you stuff and information, but this was so much more dynamic and so much more interactive because they were like customizing and tailoring every single thing that they taught you to you and your skill set and stuff. So it was kind of more hands on and I like it. But uh, open water sessions next week. See you then.